Fertility preservation is an effort to help any cancerous or non-cancerous person retain their fertility or ability to procreate. In cases of men, what are the indications? One of course is any men suffering from any cancer that's going to affect their reproductive health. Any form of surgical or radiation treatment or chemotherapy treatment that is going to affect your gonads, fertility preservation should always be explored. If you're suffering from any kind of rheumatological disorders, which is either going to have a direct impact on your fertility or is going to require treatment from drugs that are going to suppress your fertility, fertility preservation should be thought of. And also in men who are going to go to work at places which is going to have high radiation exposure, high heat exposure, wherein there might be a possibility that your fertility might be suppressed, please think of fertility preservation. Now, fertility preservation in men is a little simpler than women. The best option is giving your semen sample through the act of masturbation, wherein the semen is frozen in an embryology lab and can be used later on. Multiple samples of semen can be given in these cases. If that's not possible, then there's something known as freezing your sperm through surgical extraction. There's certain procedures that are performed on your testes and sperms are extracted out, whether it's TSA or PISA or micro -TC. There is a third option which is a little experimental till now, which is testicular tissue cryopreservation, wherein a small chunk of your testes is removed, cryopreserved and it's put back on your testes later on. So, if you know any men who require fertility preservation, kindly counsel them to explore these options because at the end of the day, treating cancer patients or any form of major disease, the aim is not just to improve the quantity of life, it's to improve the quality of life also. Thank you.